Hey guys, OJ Albine here, bringing you guys yet another sword and shield Wi-Fi battle. Today we're going up against Six Foot Hacks or Leo. Huge shout to him for giving us this game. Um, I'm sure you know who he is if you're here, but if you for some reason don't, his stuff will definitely be linked in the description below. But yeah, I'd be pretty, pretty surprised if you don't. Um, team we're bringing, we're bringing the exact same team that we've used uh, in... Actually, I don't know if I've uploaded that yet. Um, we're using either the exact same team we used in the last bit or a new one. Um, I'll go over it really quick though. We do have an Aegis, uh, Center Scorch, Heavy Duty Boots, Coil 3 Attacks, Weakness Policy, Double Dance, Aegis Slash, a Taunt Hex, Willow Bist, Recover, Jellicent, Scarf Dracovish, Scarf Darm, and a Spadef Aquaberry Ferrothorn, which is going to be a rocker. Let's see what Leo uh, ends up having. Very, very interesting team. Or that Ice Cube is actually terrible. Oh, and uh, Gengar just wins. Hmm. Well... So Gengar does incredibly well versus us, uh, and Ice Cube can be scary if we do let Jellicent go down, which can be a potential problem. However, Jellicent leads well versus literally everything that is not named um, Seismitoad, but I think we lead Pharaoh for the simple fact that, um, you know, his team can really do us dirty otherwise. So yeah, we're going to lead off with these guys, um, and let's see, let's see. Ice Cube can be a problem, actually, because we don't have any special attackers on our team other than our, what do you call it, our Jellison. Uh, which is a great check to Ice Cube, to be completely honest, but it's not, you know, very optimal when that thing is, uh, you know, obviously here to check a lot of different things. So Obstagoon's going to lead off. Hmm. Now, what do we even have for Obstagoon is the real question. I mean, he, he can most definitely go for a close combat here, and I kind of do need Pharaoh. So part of me wants to bring in Scorch. I mean, I know he can Parting Shot, which is also, you know, can be a bit of an issue. Um, I think that's what I do, though. I think I'll 100% go into Scorch. Parting Shot, that's a fair play. I could have gotten my rocks there, but, like, I don't want to take that close combat. Uh, now the only problem is, what are we letting in? Hmm. I suppose he can go right into Dougie. If he has Edge, um, he can 100% go into that and just click it, which is a bit annoying. Definitely unfortunate. But, we, I mean, we can leech life that thing twice if he doesn't have it. So he is going to go Dougie and try and trap us. I don't know if we necessarily die to, uh, you know, Sash Dougie. Doug, true. So, oh, no, that blows us away. Yikes! So, it's a matter of whether or not he has the, um, okay, so he's just gonna go for rocks. At the very least, we break this thing's sash, which is very, very nice. If he is sash. Uh, which I'm assuming if you went for rocks, that he is. Okay. So we're gonna go for a leash life. He can potentially miss an edge if that is what he has. I'm assuming he does have it. So he's gonna hit, he's gonna be able to take us out. Unfortunate. That's Mons. Hmm. The only problem. What do we want to go into now? So, I know he's not, you know, banded or anything. So let's see how much he's doing to Ferrothorn. With an EQ. He's doing a fair chunk. Um, let's see. Do we want to go Jelly? No, I don't really want to. I think I go Dracovish. Yeah. Um, he has Toad, but like, I can always, you know, just click a button and be completely fine. And this is the thing I want to take. A I didn't go Darn because I don't want to take Rocks into Sucker Punch because that really just lowers its longevity and it's really good in the end game. Like, really good in the end game. And I don't want our Jellison to take a bunch of damage. Hmm. So yeah, I'm thinking I can just click. I think I can just click crunch at this point. If he wants to save this, and that's fine. We'll get a little bit of chip off on something. But we can't double out, which is the only problem, too. Yeah, he's going to go Toad. This isn't going to do the most, honestly. Just because Dragovish isn't super strong if it's not clicking. Yeah. You know, Fisher's Friend. This is the freest Ferrothorn of my life, but it's also the freest double of his life out of whatever he wants to go into. 
Though he doesn't have anything that immediately pressures uh, our Spadef Pharaoh. Like, because we have the Aqua Barrier if he wants to go Hatterini. So we are obviously going to switch out. Just because, hey. <laughs> I'd rather not. So yeah, he is going to make the double. Out into the Hatterini. Okay. Now the only problem is, like, Hatterini. If he's, like... Oh, this is this is an issue. Because my Gyro is not going to do the most. Just simply because he's probably Trick Room. So, Power Whip is still a potential to it, KO. Zero. Yeah, Gyro is doing nothing. Um, so, I think we do have to click Power Whip. So, he is going to be able to click a, a Mystical Fire, and obviously we can't get up our rocks or anything like that, which is unfortunate. Uh, and he'll definitely be able to take us out with the next one. Special Attack's going to drop. But at the very least, he can't set up Trick Room on this, which is dope. Hmm. Now, the only issue, yeah, I think I just need to click Power Whip again. He's going to be able to take us out, which is completely fine. Let's see what that item might be. So, I'm thinking he might even be Specs, because, like, I think you're Specs for choice. Specs. No, he's not Specs. And do Aegislash Shield. So an option here is I can go AG. Yeah, I can go AG. And it's a matter of if, do I think he's going to stay in a mystical fire me? Yeah, I think I'm going to click Autonomize, because I think he either stays in Mystical Fires me or switches out. Yeah. We'll see, though. Hmm. So is he going to attack? Or is he going to set up Trick Room? Shadow Ball. Cool, so we should eat this. A Shpref is gonna fall. Not the biggest deal in the world, though. Because now we're plus two. Into, let's see, size. Um, hmm. Well, regardless, we're gonna click Shadow Claw here. We're going to be able to take out this Hatterini, which is a big threat. Aww. Now let's go into Blade form. Let's see how we're doing to Toad. Because if we do knock out the Toad with a plus two thingy, Seismic Toad defensive. Let's see. We get a big chunk off at the very least. And let's see. Gengar obviously dies, but I want to see if Scarf outspeeds us. I feel like it does. But let's double check it. Let's double check it. So we're at plus two. We are jolly max speed. If he is Scarf Gengar, he does outspeed us. So if he goes into that, that is 100% what he is. But he also could fear Shadow Sneak. So like, because I haven't shown Sword Stance yet, I could definitely be bluffing the Shadow Sneak in the back. But let's see, let's see. Regardless if he goes into Toad, I think I Dynamax here. Um, no matter what he goes into. If he goes into Ice Q, actually, that's a problem. So he's going to go into Seismo Toad. Yeah. Seismo Toad. I have to... I don't know a way to... I could be just, like, completely dumb, but I don't really know how I'm supposed to count this other than it's 120 base power now. It has a chance to knock him out. Yeah, I'm 100% going for this. He might Dynamax himself in order to just live the hit. 
but at the very least, that lets me, uh, you know, get damage on this thing anyways, just Dynamax, which is obviously super clean. Let's see. Yeah, P is. Okay, that's fair. So he's going to be 210 base HP, because your HP doubles. So if he's like max fizz def, then he definitely eats this hit. But if he's spa def, then it's another, it's it's also a roll. So we'll see. We shall see. We'll be able to gauge damage at the very least. Okay, that, may, that makes me believe he's kind of spa def, because that did way more than it should have if he was, um, this death. So he's at minus one defense, which is like amazing too. Hmm. So now our end game with our um, what do you call it is looking like phenomenal. Our end game with our Dragovish is looking good. He's at a good 20-ish percent. Let's see what we can go into here to potentially punish this thing. Looking like it's gonna have to be Darmanitan. It's a matter of if we knock him out that we do. Even if he's max max. Um, provided that we hit this icicle crash. Let's see though. What's he have in the back? So he has Dougie Obstagoon, Ice Cube Gengar. Okay. Now, provided that it isn't Scarf Gengar, our endgame with Dracovish looks phenomenal. Like, great. So, we'll see. We click Ice School Crash here, and hopefully we hit this time. Uh, I mean this time. It was another game. Okay, cool. So, he is going to switch out. And potentially Ice Q or Sack Off Dougie. That's fair. That's fair. Dougie wasn't doing much this game. And if he saves that thing in the back, he still has an immunity to Drake Fish, which is big for him right now. So down goes Dougie. We're able to take that thing out, which is great. Uh, well, not great. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't do anything crazy if he sends Chip the rest of our months. But still a one down, nonetheless. Make the game closer, at least. Let's see. Obstagoon comes out. Am I missing something? I mean, it's a speed tie if you're also Scarf. But I know this doesn't get Sucker. Does it get Sucker? I thought it didn't get Sucker. I don't have a switch in, like, regardless, but... So, it doesn't get Sucker. Are we gonna flinch? He's gonna go for a knockoff. That's fair. We're gonna live the hit, which is at least nice. So this is a speed die, potentially. Uh, and we lose it. Unfortunate. Hmm. So what I do is I go Dracovish and I click Leech Life. Come on, fish. You're my only hope at this point. So yeah, we click Leech Life here. Wait, is he... That's really bad. We lose. He is Scarf. Oh, that really sucks. That really sucks. Yeah, we're gonna lose this game. Uh, because we can't kill... Um, what do you call it? Gengar now. Gengar wins. Damn, he was Scarf. That really sucks. Hmm. Dang. 100% my bad. He's gonna go Ice Q. I definitely want to break this thing's disguise. <sighs> that really does suck. So, am I faster than a max speed Ice Q if he belly drums? Ice Q. So, he's gonna belly drum. I can tell by the sound. I'm not even looking at the screen. I can tell. <laughs> um. So we're faster than like an adamant. Oh no, we're not faster than adamant max speed. 
I'm gonna go for a Wisp. Zen Headbutt. That's probably gonna be able to hit KO as a plus six. Unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna take an L here. Uh, it was a fun game, but that thing being Scarf really did just kind of do it for me. Hey, maybe if we dodge this. Three Citrus. Oh, he messed up on the HP. I just noticed that. Well, I don't know if it's, you know, necessarily a mess up. But you know what I mean? Um. Oh, no. oh, he did miss. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. So, how healthy do we have to be to live a Gengar Shadow Ball? With our Jellicent. Like, at full. I think we have to click on Recover again. Because if he's not Specs, we can potentially lift that hit. And, like, if we get, like, a crit or something crazy. Uh, crit has a chance to knock him out. If we get, like, a low chance to knock him out. Hmm. Right, I think we just keep spamming recover. Because we do have to be at full. I wouldn't do this if there was, you know, another way out. Um, but, hey. You gotta do what you gotta do. If only we were Shadow Ball on this thing, then we uh, had a much better shot, I think. Actually, I don't even know if Shadow Ball would knock that thing out from full. Yeah, it doesn't. What? A crit would? My like guaranteed. Um, I don't think he ever makes the play of switching out into the Gengar on my recover. I just think that's a bit of a choke. Um, because if I click Hex on that turn, then the game's just raw over. Oh, man, if I just had my scarf still. If I just had my scarf still. Unfortunate. That really does suck. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna recover again. He could just go hard out into Jealous. I mean, the other thing too. But yeah, we're gonna click recover. And yeah, it's gonna get a little bit stally here. I'm gonna do my very best to win this game. Again, I don't know if I necessarily can. We're definitely not trying to timer stall here um, at all. I'm clicking on move literally as fast as possible. And I can't, uh, you know, timer stall him at all because <laughs> he's winning. Um, so that's definitely not my aim here. If he gets a crit here too, it's also just very much so over. Oh no, because we live the hit, we have to cover up. So this covers both, I suppose. But if he gets the crit on the right turn, it's the only issue. Watch, I'm gonna recover on a turn where he misses. It's gonna annoy me. Uh, again, I apologize. I apologize. Definitely not my um, preferred method of putting this game. So he hits yet another Zen head, but. And we are going to recover up. All the way back up to full. And it's probably going to take another five or so turns in order to do this. So we're going to click it as fast as humanly possible. I think his play is 100% to keep clicking Zen. Can we live a life? Oh, we flinched. There's the first one. He deserves it. I'm not even going to complain about that at this point. I've been spamming the recover button. That's obviously going to happen eventually. Three minutes left. Uh-oh. He's in that book. Especially after that first miss, too. Oh, is that a crit? Yeah, there it is. Crit flinch. No. And yeah, we're just gonna click the recover button again. Again, his his biggest choke ever would be to switch out into the uh, what do you call it? The Gengar hard on this thing. I just don't think he ever makes that play. Um, yeah, so we're gonna recover back up to full here. I think it should be one more turn of burn after this one. Dang, twenty minute timer is making this terrible. <laughs> well, I mean, it's already kind of not fun to watch, but regardless. We're playing this as fast as possible. Again, I apologize, I apologize. Definitely isn't the funnest time. I'm really hoping it goes down to burn here. 
And we don't get flinched. If we get flinched, then it's guaranteed game. Please, 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 please. Go down. Oh my gosh. Please. <laughs> click the button, click the button. Ah, uh, is he just gonna confirm the win? Ah, uh, okay. Um. No, he's just not gonna send. Okay, cool. Do we get flinched on the last turn? That would have been divine justice. He's gonna go Gengar. And again, if we can crit a Hex, maybe. Or if he's like Life Orb or something like that. We'll see though. No, we died a Life Orb, I think though. Yeah, we're gonna go for a Hex. I don't think it's gonna be able to knock him out. Yeah, it's not. Unfortunate. I think we're gonna lose this game, guys. Unfortunate. Especially with 30 seconds left. Uh, cool. So down Jellison goes. Yeah, unfortunately, there's going to be an L. We're going to try and at least finish out the game. Um, just because, hey, why not? And this is going to be the last turn. Come on, Drakevish. Let me click the button. All right, so Jesus to Leo, again, I apologize that at the end, um, it's more so just that was my only win con. Uh, I had to be, you know, potentially at full depending on his set in order to, you know, be able to potentially win that game. But uh, again, GG to him. Definitely go check him out. For some reason, you know who he, uh, know who I am and don't know who he is. Uh, again, I'd be very surprised. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. And I'm going to catch you guys later.